Well, one of the stories of World War II is about to be shared in a brand new way. Uh, take a look at this. It is a quilt taking shape. If you look a little closer, it features words of gratefulness, generosity, and pride. A Savannah woman is working her magic on this project. And we welcome 2005 Savannah College of Art and Design textile major Jessica Pope here to WSAV for Talent Tuesday. I wanna thank you first off, Jessica, for taking time to share what I consider, and I think many people watching will as well, one of the most amazing stories when we look at our greatest generation. And I know you've put a lot of work into <laughs> a storytelling. You wanna make sure that you share the most important parts of stories as a textile major and a graduate of SCAD. Uh, how did you start this incredible project? Uh, well, I've always been a quilt maker and I had started working on paper quilts more as templates for fabric quilts. And then they kind of evolved into something of their own. Uh, I received a collection of letters from my friend David Levy from a World War II veteran. And I started reading them and all these kind of secrets of their life kind of poured out. Uh, and I wondered about the people that wrote them. And so a lot of the imagery that I use kind of is me imagining what these people were like who wrote to him and um, you know what their handwriting might look like or what their story might be. Uh, so I've incorporated a lot of those insights into these pieces. And where did the letters come from? Where is there one particular person or others across the country? They're all written to one particular captain, uh, Captain Parker, but they are from a myriad of people. The most of them are from his wife, clearly, uh, and his mother. And you did mention as we were talking about uh, someone with a Beaufort connection? Yes, I believe that the wife was in Beaufort while he was uh, in the service. As in terms of making progress on a paper quilt <laughs> and this special project about uh, someone from the greatest generation, is there a snippet of a letter that you can share with us. Yes, and I do read all the letters and I scan them before I cut them up because I know that they are sacred. I have some letters of my own from my grandparents during the Korean War, so I know how it is. Uh, but I loved this one, and it is from his wife, and it says, Dearest Parker, we miss you badly, but there's no need to tell you that. Bonnie keeps saying, I want my daddy at odd moments. And I just thought, you know, all of these things that people are pouring into these letters are so intimate, and to have a full collection that kind of shows you know, five years of someone's life and all of the people that miss them and love them is really special. So I wanna do that justice in my own storytelling and hopefully other people who react to them will bring their own stories as well. Well, this is a very meaningful project. Uh, where will people get an opportunity to see the yeah. final uh, outcome? Yeah, so these will be displayed at SCAD FASH next month for a special small works exhibition uh, put on by Shop SCAD and SCAD Art Sales so they can see them there. And they'll be up probably for a couple weeks um, and have the opportunity to experience them in their quilted form because uh, they'll all be kind of ganged up together. And I do want to ask you about each square. Sure. So what size are we talking and how long does it take to make one after the yeah. other? Yeah, well, I mean, I spend a lot of my time cutting. So <laughs> once the cutting's done, the actual piecing together probably takes about 30 minutes per square. Um, and I kind of look at the different materials and see which ones work together. I like to work with a limited palette, so I usually work with black um, and then, you know, obviously the fabric of the letters. And I'm also wondering, as we wrap up, uh, Jessica, as a young child, uh, what drove you to show an interest in becoming a textile oh, artist? Well, I grew up in a family of textile artists. So my grandmother was a quilter, my great-grandmother crocheted, and they were w lovely enough to share all of those crafts with me. So it's part of my own fabric. And then when I came to SCAD, I got to put all of those things together together in a different way. So I'm just lucky that I learned all of those granny crafts uh, so that I could have you know this perspective and these, these talents. Well, you're definitely a gem. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> want to remind Tina. everyone also about the quilt and where it will be on display, as Jessica mentioned, at SCAD Bash in Atlanta. It's all part of a small works exhibit and it is simply a fascinating. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you for stopping Thank by. Thank you, thanks for having me. It's wonderful. I'm of glad course. to share. Thank you. Thanks, Tina.